Well, good morning. Today we are heading up to a top secret location in the Central Oregon High Desert known as 406 Garage. It's, uh, it's owned by my good buddy Ben and he collects and buys and rebuilds and pretty much anything else to old international scouts and trucks and travel alls and all the other stuff. If it's old and international, Ben's your guy. So sounds like he got his forklift stuck, so we're gonna go run up there and see if we can get it yanked out. All right, high security gates are opening. We can head in. If you know me, you know that I like old stuff. So this is one of my favorite places to come because there is lots of old stuff and all of it is super, super cool. So let's go check it out. And if you want to talk about a place with the best view ever, look at this. Just an awesome view of the Cascade Mountains. There's a little bit in the clouds right now, but they got a fresh layer of snow on them from last night, which gets me super excited since I have a Jeep on tracks. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful view. He's got an awesome spot here. So there is just an endless supply of cool vehicles here. What is this thing? An international ice cream truck? Oh man. You know what a sweet camping rig this would be? Oh, I gotta sit in it. I could drive this. This thing is awesome. Look at the doorknob on the other door. An international metro is what it is. That is the coolest thing ever. Can you imagine that four wheel drive? Talk about the ultimate overland vehicle. Just everywhere, cool stuff. This is like the non-running side. Yep, that's cool too. And this is the running and driving line. Well, some of the runners and drivers are here. Got a dump truck, multiple four doors. Like these are rare to see anywhere and he's got like six or seven of them here. Factory four wheel drive utility bed trucks. Look at this, it's got hydraulics going through the back or something. Flatbeds, scouts, check out this beast. And another one. How cool would this thing be all done up, slammed down, it's got the perfect body lines for it. Awesome. Another four door with four more doors. That's an eight door international. You don't see that anywhere. Another utility bed truck, cabin chassis that runs and drives. And the crown of the fleet, the Corolla. Stuff just gets cooler and cooler here, the more you look around. Look at this thing. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. And I know I said that Metro over there would make the ultimate overland rig, but the true ultimate overland rig is right here. It's ready to go, hop in and drive. Check it out. And I know this one runs and drives, he said. It even comes with a fan inside, because you know you need a fan. What's inside here? Okay. What? There's a bed and a boom box with spare speakers. Oh yeah, they were bumping. But actually, if you kind of get rid of all the junk in here, this thing is actually really cool. It's got shelving up over the bed. Super sweet headliner. Oh, there's little lights and stuff in it. And is that a door up into the cab? Let's go look. This one here is the one I towed back from out in Burns, Oregon when I did that 700 mile trip on dollies. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, we broke into Ben's shop. And check this out. Like I said, everything international. Who else has an international hot rod? Is that not cool? So from the most modified and done up rigs to completely stock, 100% original paint, completely factory original rigs. Like, look at that. Even as a butt cushion. I told you there's like seven or eight of these four doors here. And how nice is this? Like seriously, if it's international and it's cool, 
you hear the door? Like, crisp. If it's international and it's cool, it's here. A little bit. Well, of course. <laughs> so Ben finally showed up. <laughs> what happened? Uh, flat tire. Yeah, that that's flat. So I tried to move it out of the way so that I could get the scout that was back there onto the trailers that the guy bought so he could haul it away. And I pulled it out of the way and it, it didn't want to go any further. This uh, volcanic ash sand is horrible. As yeah, soon as you break into it, because it's like powder ash. China, they call it China dust. China dust? Uh-huh, a lot of people call it China dust. Okay, now we know. I mean, I don't know. This is definitely rated factory. 100%. 10,000 pound pole. Yeah. How much do you think it weighs? Uh, 18,000? Probably. It's 10,000 pound lift. Uh -huh. Forklifts usually weigh double what they're yep. rated for. So. I was told by the old guy that's worked on it before that probably weighs around 18. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with our 8,000 pound pickup and our 11,000 pound pickup, we have 18,000 pounds. I pound. think we have enough well, vehicles around here to pull with. <laughs> like, I'm talking about like anchor. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we'll have to use your truck to the forklift and then anchor to my truck to keep your truck from moving while we're trying to pull. Are we going to winch it or are we going to yank it? I don't know. I can try yanking it first. We can. And I, if I put that, if I get on the forklift and drive the forklift and you pull and we drive and pull, anyway, all we have to do is get it to the gravel. Once it's on the gravel, it'll be fine. Yeah. It drives on this with a flat tire. I know that for sure. <laughs> so so the tire was flat long before it ended up I've there. had a flat tire more than once. Okay. And I know that it will drive on this gravel with a flat tire. Well, I brought the Yankum rope, so. Try oh, that. Lucy's here. Hi. I want to be on the camera. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Star of the show. I brought the Yankum rope, so let's try Yankum rope. Okay. Your uh, pull pin is super cool. Uh, yeah. I think somebody's used it overly before I owned it. So, not the first time this has been stuck. <sighs> Definitely not. Uh, and, that, and that being said, we might have to go like to these. You know what I mean? Go yeah, through here and, and come back. back here. Or go all the way in around this big piece right here. I've got enough strap to do that, so. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. this is thick. Yeah. I mean, this is all just iron. Yeah. Oh, we can just wrap this whole thing. Okay. Let's try it. And then we'll rev it up and drive it backwards. See if it'll work. Deal. I think you have a, uh, a growth there. Yeah, a little helper here. <laughs> So, what we're going to try first before winching on this thing is using the Yankum rope. We're just going to go from the hitch receiver on the back of my truck because I forgot my fancy Yankum rope pull point. Uh, it's in the Jeep. And then we're going to wrap this main, <laughs> this main <laughs> support here since the hitch pin is broke with the big strap as a bridle and then use our Matt's off-road recovery shackle to connect the two. Soft shackle, super handy. Mm -hmm. Things going to come out? All seems that the theory is good. But we're going to take this truck and go the that way and this is going to come that way and I love the I love the the simplicity. Yeah. <laughs> go fast that way, yank this out. Oh, I don't know about go fast. Well, I can go fast and if I'm going fast, you're going to go fast by default. Uh, I don't have a choice. Is this thing going to start? Find out. Man. Let's get that figured out first. Come here. Come here. So it started. driving. Oh, did I scratch your driveway? No, I just like to fill the hole. Okay? Let's see if, is he going to make it? What do you think? What's he doing? Thank you, Steve. 
and our problem is how we jack up the tire. It'd be easiest from under the axle right there because then you're only lifting half of the weight on the back because uh -huh. it pivots in the middle. Uh-huh. Floor jack? I don't think I have a floor jack that's strong enough though. Oh, I know what we need. Another forklift. Oh yeah. Did you bring one of those? I forgot it at home. Oh darn it. Okay, this worked to pick up a fridge the other day. I saw that. So we was that the refrigerator repo? No, that was the refrigerator that caught on fire in my garage. Oh. Did you know fridges do that? I've never seen one do that. Me neither. Until that one caught on fire. Uh oh. I don't think this is a good idea. That's not gonna work at all. And that spring just popped, you see that? I know, I saw. Okay, so the wheel lift might have picked it up, but it wasn't looking good, so we gave up. Ben's going to get a floor jack, so we're gonna try that. Lucy keeps crawling in the grease on the wheel lift, so that's fun. And if only you had a forklift, so you didn't have to carry that heavy thing over here. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So this axle pivots in the middle, so if we get on the outside of the axle here and lift, we're really only lifting half the weight of the back end of this forklift. But what'd you do with the dog? Over there. And as far outside the axle as you can get. Oh, your low profile jack isn't low profile for far enough. No. You think it'll lift it a little bit when you put a block of wood under there? That's what I was hoping. Yep, it'll lift it a little. Don't worry everybody, I am an expert in jacking stuff up safely now. The jack's already starting to do this, we gotta put something under it. Stick that somewhere. I didn't do anything. <laughs> we need more. Oh, you know what I have, even better. Okay. Okay. No. Nope. No. Nope. Six inches short. Story of my life. Yep, me too. So now it's close though. No, it's not. No, I mean height wise. What do you mean? This going under that. Oh, well, I was gonna say. Let's try and see if we can get one more. My favorite part about this is we don't do anything the easy way. No, if we did it the easy way, it wouldn't be Well that's what everybody everybody does. Easy yeah. Way. So, this jack is not enough to lift the back of this forklift high enough that we can block underneath it. So, we're putting the back of my truck on the forks. Keep going, uh, tilt forward. It's a little not perfect. Now go straight up. Keep going. That's good. Now what just happened is the back of the forklift is lighter, so the jack might lift it. Oh yeah, this is working. Yeah, now you just pull a tire off. I don't need the jack anymore. <laughs> High enough to get that tire off, off but you're not going to be able to get a new one on. Yeah. But now the jack can reach all the way into the axle, which it should lift easily. Do you need those two metal blocks for a couple days? No, I don't. Okay, good. I got that right here. But somebody lifted my truck up in the air where I can't reach them. Kind of tight. You should put on the loosen mode instead of the tighten mode. It is. <laughs> the rust dust flying off. Uh huh. Of it. Uh huh. I got a breaker bar. I think that'll do a lot of good with the tire in the air. You make a good point. Yeah. What good's a breaker bar? I only make do? a few good points a day, but that's one of them. Yep, that was a good one. Should we PB blaster? Probably. That's what I mean when I say it's moving ever so slightly. Um, she's gonna run the tow truck now. <laughs> Lucy. My remote. You had the big wrench the whole time and you're making me use my little one? Well, yeah. Well, 
fine. I'm taking my toys and going home. <laughs> Look how loosey goosey the steering is. See? I'm not the only one who says loosey goosey. That's why we get along. <laughs> yeah, but look at that. Like, look at all the slop in that. Yeah, it's just a little bit. But you know, when there's 10,000 pounds of weight on there, it's not that sloppy. So, it's fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Okay, so now I can let that down. You can let it down on the blocks, yeah. And then I'll just leave the jack right Perfect. Here. Yeah, leave everything right there how it is. All right, so now that we've got the tire off, we got to get my truck off the forklift. I hope it doesn't spit out these blocks and everybody get mad at me again, so. <laughs> it held. Okay, we got the tire off, got the truck off the forklift. Now, Ben's going to the tire shop to get the tire changed, and I am going on another adventure to pick up a new off-road rig, off-road recovery rig. It, yeah, something that'll go in the, yeah. not the roads. We might even put tracks on it. Maybe. We're definitely going to put tracks on it. Um, what did we learn? Oh, what we learned. Uh, counterweight help. Okay, battery went dead. We got a new one. We'll talk about what we learned today. We learned that counterweight helps. Uh, put blocks under the forklift. The forklift will lift the truck. The forklift will lift the truck. The Yankum ropes worked amazing. Yankum ropes worked awesome. Um, I went really, really light. So I wanted to see how light I could pull and have it actually come See out. See how strong it was? Yeah, be. that thing is roughly 18,000 pounds. And, and we learned that you need to buy one new tool. Yeah. Because the one you have is not enough. Thank you, Milwaukee. This made short work of the bolts that your Milwaukee would not touch. Yeah. He's thank you, Milwaukee. I'm what the hell, Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had this the whole time. Let me use my little dinky struggle. one. <laughs> That's okay, I watched you pump up that jack before I said let's put the truck on the other end to make it lighter. <laughs> that is true. So, <laughs> touche. I'll come back later and get my blocks. Not today. Not today. Probably not tomorrow. But, what we do need to do sometime, and I'm sure everyone would like, comment down below if you would like to see kind of a tour of all these old trucks. We're not going to get all of them obviously, but no, like... Well, we could do like, we could pick out a few trucks and we could do the story about like the truck. the interesting ones, like, because there's some like really cool interesting yeah. ones here. Yeah. I kind of walked around and showed him some of them and what you guys didn't even see is like his whole personal collection of them that's sitting in his driveway that he drives all the time. We didn't even get to those, so. That'll be another day. Yeah, so comment video. below if you think we should come back and do like a little tour of some of the more interesting trucks around here. We'll do it. Sounds We're going like to do it anyway, but comment and tell us whether you want to. <laughs> Absolutely. So, all right. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I am off to Washington to go pick up another off-road rig. And I'm off to the tire store. Ben's off to the tire store, so we'll see you guys next time.